Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you the power of Rod of Ages Nunu in the jungle. It's a really fun, really strong build with amazing scaling. Nunu has HP and AP scaling on his Q and R, and Rod of Ages gives you more AP and more health than any other AP method you can buy. This sets you up to do more damage than Tank Nunu while simultaneously being similarly tanky. We took Phase Rush with Nimbus Celerity Water Rocking, Cheap Shot Relentless, Double AP and Armor. Should be a very, very fun game up against Graves. Nunu tends to play well against Graves since Nunu doesn't have to farm heavy. And whenever Graves gets on top of you, as long as you have Phase Rush, you can always get away from him. His only form of CC is a slow, so Nunu counters that out pretty hard. We're going to smite that. We don't, just in case he's watching, because our Q doesn't even do uh, 600 damage early on. We're going to pull this away from Zed just in case. I assume my red buff's gone, but who knows. We're not gonna go mid though, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and use Ghost. We'll use W while Nimbus is still active. You could use your W at the last second and still get full value. Hey Ash, you don't have flash. Auto in the queue, she's red buff slowed. Auto. All right, we're out of there, we're chilling. That was really, really solid. Ganking Ash since she had no flash makes it free. We are still gonna go tier two boots into Rod of Aegis because we need to get that big fat juicy movement speed. Let's go ahead and get Gromp for a quick level three. I assume my whole top side's gone. Graves know we started on his red buff, so my whole top side really should be gone right now. Nice, Lucian Thresh getting turbo fed. So traditionally AP Nunu would go for an Everfrost, Rocket Belt, Crown, or Night Harvester. Crown got turbo nerfed. I wouldn't really recommend anyone take Crown on any champion these days, but uh, Rod of Aegis is incredibly inexpensive and makes you stupidly tanky. You can still make a really big argument for Everfrost, but if you don't like using activatables, Rod of Aegis is by far your best option because Rocket Belt and Everfrost obviously are inactivatable. Zed into Miles. Miles is going to counter him hard. You don't typically recall Nunu until your Scuttle has disappeared. Ganking off Scuttle speed up is so free. Let's get a red buff auto on the small ones. And then the big one should just come to us here and we'll hit him with the Q. Boop. We don't want to use W on Scuttle because it's a long cooldown and we want to immediately get on top of these turds. With that being said, we don't necessarily want to burn our E either. So we'll just wait a second. They're kind of moving into me. So I'll just uh, play it slow. I don't want them to see the scuttles gone for a moment. On speed up. Dark Harvest is slightly more damage up front, but overall the phase rush higher movement speed is way more valuable for surviving and also staying on top of enemies. Hey Ash, where are you gonna go? All right, we get the kill, that's whatever. We kind of need to reset a little bit. I think she ended up ghosting. I don't want to back until Scuttle's gone, though. Your snowball lasts 10 seconds, so the Scuttle speed <laughs> lasts uh, over 10 seconds. Drop the snowball. Flick him down with ease. Get him with the... F Ooh, my phase rush is on a cooldown. He's doing some damage. Whew, he hasn't backed yet. Man, he's doing some damage. Might be able to kill Ash here. I'm not sure what she's doing. Oh, she's like right here for some reason. What in the world? But why? It's like she knew Thresh was in that bush or something. Very abnormal. We'll go for plated into dark sill and now we go straight for rod of ages even if you're playing ap nunu uh played it as your best first boot purchase because it makes you take less damage from the turrets the minions the monsters and they have double lethality champs zed and graves played it is by far the best item we could go If you're going to play Nunu absolutely full AP, it is certainly is fun, but it's also really frustrating because uh, if you die just once and lose your Mesh or Dark Sill, you have really very little scaling. Go ahead and Ghost W. You need to get to Orn before he gets roasted and toasted. 
We get snare, auto into Q. Down you go. He needs to get behind his minions. Graves does have some items. Graves is scared though. Low damage Graves over here. All right, we're out of here. <laughs> Riven, she got wrecked. Your Q is the same range as your autos, but it's kind of like an auto reset there. Where obviously I can only use my Q once, so we hit her with an auto into Q, finish her off. Oh no, Lucian got soloed bot side. That's horrible. No assist on Zed. Graves was top, so yeah, they just straight up died 2v2 when he had a turbo lead. That's, oh man. One of the most annoying things for junglers is when you camp a lane. And then they kind of just end up throwing the lead for no reason. We absolutely have to secure drags. Nunu's not really a soloist, nor is he a split pusher. So getting dragons is very important for the team fights and for your scaling. Nunu's one of the stronger early game junglers in terms of tank junglers. Compared to Zac or Ramus, Nunu ganks, you can make the argument, are better. And qu quicker pace. Like level 3 Nunu ganks generally better than a level 3 Zac or Ramus gank. But Nunu's scaling can be more questionable than Zac or Ramus. You need to do things in the early game. You can't just AFK power farm you. You just three camp into gank. And um, yeah, set up the game from there. Smite's doing 600. Q's doing 800. So we have 800 plus 600, that's 1400 damage. You Q then Smite, Q has an activation. So Q smite just like that, beautiful. Probably kill Zed. Yeah, we'll head on over. Give him a little tickle. E in the Q. Zed probably figured Mouse didn't have enough damage. Mouse actually didn't have enough damage if I wasn't there. Mouse would have just died. So well played to the Zed. That being said, he's losing a lot of minions, and I am going to get a plate out of this, I think. Maybe not. I'm going to make this wave push to Miles. You see how I put it real tight? That should push to Miles now. It's a bit awkward with how far they chased. <laughs> All right, here we go. We use the F key to look real quick. Knock up on Ash and the EQ. I actually wouldn't mind stealing some kills since I have Dark Seal. Plus, we already know the solution is going to throw gold anyways. I think it is pushing the mouse. The cannon's about to die. And it's also closer to Zed's turret. We have Scuttle speed up. Let's go ahead and pop W. Make the most of it. There's a dash on cooldown. We'll hold on to E for the escape off phase rush. If E's on cooldown, then we're kind of screwed. Play for drags and play for our bot lane at the moment. Enemy bot lane doesn't have a way to dodge snowball. Champions that can cancel your snowball from far away are a huge issue. The Ash Zerath can't do that for the most part. Ash R, she's not six yet. Or Zerath has to lance done. Hey, friend. Mm, she's not six. You get the knock up and the Q. Pop R. Ghost away. I think Lucian's dead. He was really deep underneath that turret. Thresh needed to actually be the one to tank because he has Aftershock. His Lantern was kind of weird. His Lantern didn't help anyone, but it is what it is. When you do dives like that, unless you're playing in <laughs> probably like Challenger, people don't uh, always understand the order of operations. Should have been uh, probably Lucian to hit first. So, so he can walk out of turret range after taking one hit. Then Thresh because Aftershock. Oh, Lucian's going mid. I don't think he's happy about that. We can buy a big chunk of rod here. Why did he randomly R? Maybe he thought I was low on health. I wasn't though. I'm down quite a bit in CS, but that's how it goes on Nunu. You'll never really be up in, up in CS on the enemy jungler. For some reason, my AD carry is mid. So we're going to lose that. Ash has R. 
I have more assists than kills. It's gonna be hard for me to 1v2 them. They have so much CC between them at this point. I'll hit it from the front. Thush is already going from behind. I got the ash cut off. Down with the E auto. That's a snare. I don't have R, but I don't need it. Nice. All right, we're at a bunch of Dark Seal stacks here. I was going to queue it, but he's already doing so much damage to it. I don't want to steal his cannon. Uh, I actually need a little bit more gold for Rod of Ages here, so we'll stick around. Oof, that turret gave me enough. I can back and get a full Rod of Ages <laughs> with none of it purchased. Dirty. Very dirty. Wow, scumbag thrash, <laughs> he stole them. I don't think it's warded. And we're out of there. Full Rod of Aegis, pick up control ward, play around drag, drag up in 30, I have time to grab red. Will you snowball right around here with tier two boots? Your snowball, it's a weird, it gets faster per your champion level, not per the level in your snowball itself. So the higher level you are, Nunu, the faster you move with snowball and obviously the more movement speed you have so before you start such a scuttle crab water walking uh base speed up all that stuff we're thick we're juicy we're beefy oh no oh no <laughs> swing it around town Huh, no one's here. I should've just gone to drag. Graves can't take it that fast. Oh, what a scumbag. Whatever. We're on a ward, feels bad. Graves is on his way. Oh, I can't do it now. Lucian's losing all of his health. In goes Thresh, does he get the flay? No, not really. Get the W and the E. And we walk out. Cool. I'm tanky, man. When we get tankier, the long, longer we have uh, Rod of Ages for it. It stacks up. I have Ghost. Would prefer to just grab Scuttle. Alright, we're chilling. This guy's being weird. Miles doesn't have his uh, R. I'm gonna just pop it early. He still got out. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> he couldn't do any real damage. We're both one full item. I'm Rod, he's Trinity. Main difference is I have plated and he doesn't quite have plated here. We have scuttle speed up, water walking speed up. Is a wrath. Auto Q, juke. Get the snare, we smite. Oh, I'm dead. I didn't realize how much damage I was taking. What the heck? Ash was doing a lot. I just gave her a fat shutdown. <laughs> no. Ash OP, bro. Absolutely turbo busted. I'd say Shadow Flame and a Robin on here. If I had kept up all my Dark Seal, I'd just go Raba in the Mesh, but I messed up bad there. I got greedy and thought maybe we could kill both. Ash did a good job of peppering me down the whole time. She was ready to die. Her KDA already soiled. <laughs> Once people's KDAs go low enough, they'll uh, risk it for the biscuit more. Nine hundred and twelve hundred. Nice try, buddy. Zerath's doing twice as much damage as Graves, and Zerath doesn't even have a full item, and I can't see him either. <laughs> oh, boy. Two drags playing for soul. Orin late game's crazy, because he can upgrade his teammates' items, a couple of his teammates. I think he can upgrade three of them. His item plus three, I'm pretty sure. I don't think he can upgrade all four. And uh, that item upgrade basically translates to, I think it was 1,500 gold. It was a lot. 
Having a Ornn on your team, one of the best tanks in the game for the late game. Almost finished my jungle item. That'll help out with engages. Almost have it. We're getting close. Auto in the queue. Harold is not it's up in one minute though. We'll grab Scuttle. Scuttle is the key. They should not be here right now. They have the Ash, Ash R, Zerath R. Super high risk. We're in a power position and we don't need to cheese out a turret in that way. We can already win team fights, win objective fights. All right, Zed. Probably best to go for Zerath. Whew. My goodness. Zerath's doing all the damage with no full item either. Good, good grief. Water walking speed up. That's about it on this one. I'm behind him. That sucks. I wasn't expecting Zed to show up at that exact moment. Unfortunate. I'll go get Harold. If they want to hide underneath their turrets with several people, so be it. I'll cook them alive on the fire. I didn't get the scuttle speed up. That's really annoying. Whole team just got wiped. The enemies are still pretty healthy too. All that gold on Lucian not doing much. Three full items. Most people on the enemy team only have one full item other than Zed who's at two. Dang, they actually get Harold here. Oh well, back to farming. We're scaling up. And that is full jungle item. Beautiful. They get that Herald though. <clears throat> I can't stop them. We can use any bush. Any bush at all. Hey, red buff. Wow, that went out really far. Nearly made it to turret. This is a weird fight. You can't push down the wave against the Zerath like that. He'll just clear it. Got the Ash. I'm on phase rush. All right, cool, cool, cool. Drag's coming out. Baron's coming out. Baron, then drag, please. Easy call out. We don't need to take inhib right here. Drag souls are win con anyways. We can't end the game if we all stayed mid for inhib. The Zed falls off. Graves falls off. I wouldn't say Riven falls off. I'd say the Ash and Zerath pretty much perma scale. 1200, 1200. We have the Nimbus speed up. I didn't really utilize the bush pre W. That's okay. I should be drag. Just got to get it out of that pit. Miles isn't too interested in, in that. <laughs> Some teammates don't want you to pull it out. It goes against their religion. Nice. So we can do like scuttle speed up and bush speed up if we do it properly. We're sitting on Shadow Flame or Robidon at this point. I'm thinking Robidon actually. Robidon would be pretty solid. My Rod of Aegis is mostly stacked up. It's giving 
a lot of stats. 32 extra AP, so it's giving 92 ability power right now. Let's go ahead and grab Braba. Then we'd go Zanius. Down to pound, baby. Yeah, Nuni doesn't have much HP scaling. He's got a little bit on his art, only on the bonus health. And he's got uh, a little bit on his Q, but he's most, mostly AP scaling with some HP scaling. I shouldn't have done that. I don't really want to press R because I knew he was going to do that. Hey, Ash. You're smited. Boom. Nice. I haven't had an opportunity to do a very good R this game. The fights are too scattered and frantic. I haven't really been able to uh, just cream off a big one, you know? It's a lot of damage. He's gonna try to flash on me. Got all my health back. You heal more off of uh, non-champions with your Q than off champs. Plus, if the lore on health you are, when you blow half health, it's a bigger heal. Plus, I'm AP Nunu, so. Yeah, that's it. These turd burglars got turd burgled. <laughs> it's that simple. If you're a turd, you're gonna get burgled. Put that down in your diary, guys. Still got the grass. Looking at damage ulti, enemy champions were pretty much middle of the pack, but still higher than most of the enemy team for damage taken. Most on our team, and in fact, most in the game. And self mitigated, almost most on our team. 2k difference, damage taken. Even if you count the 2k self mitigated difference, we still took the most in the game. Very cool. For runes, high value. All in all, AP Nunu is definitely solid, and uh, you can catch people off guard with how much you heal. Um, finding a big R can be challenging because if you're really far ahead, the enemies will never really put themselves in that situation. And if you're really far behind and your teammates aren't backing you up, it can be hard to find it. So yeah, new new R in general, just kind of tricky. If you guys enjoyed this new new video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.